girls ready? Yeah. Ani, you ready? Going to the river? Say hi. Going to the river. What are you doing, Mama? You ready to go? Solberg Lane or Avenue? What's our address? Solberg. Getting gas. We're going down to the river. What are you doing, buddy? Nothing. We got a double pumper going on here. Oh, Mama's full. Mama, you bought this thing? Hey, Gavin, close that gas deal. Make sure it clicks. All right. What do you want to catch? Salmon. Kokanee? Mm -hmm. First time ever? Mm -hmm. First time ever? I think so. It's my first time ever. It is? I don't think you've ever caught <laughs> kokanee salmon either, I Gavin. Have. Maybe in your dreams. <laughs> this kid's already caught I kokanee have. salmon. We are going to Eureka, Montana. We're going to hit Graves Creek on the way in. And then we might make it in time to hit the private property tonight. But we've got private property access all day tomorrow. Then the next time, on the Tobacco River. What's that? Headed up, headed up to Eureka, Montana. By the Port of Roosevelt. Into Canada. And we're going to snag salmon. Um, these salmon are excellent smoked. They're kind of soft because they're running up the river to spawn. So they're kind of soft. But we're going to get some cedar planks and smoke those babies. And I heard they're just absolutely amazing. Some crackers. Continue straight. Then use the right lane to take a slight right turn onto Old Reserve Drive. Yes, ma'am. So we'll see you when we get up there to Eureka. We got about an hour four minute drive. Stay in the second lane from right. Raining, so we can't use cruise control. Where is Sarah going? Oh. Where are you going? Good question, buddy. Shh. Sorry, people behind me. Yeah, pull up, mama. Jeez. Let me in here. I was filming and driving. My tin, my tindos are really winded, winded. My windows are really tinted, so no one can see me in here. The leaves are starting to change colors. Good. It's going to be a real pretty drive here in about three weeks. It already is. It always is. But, but in three weeks, it's going to be like poof. private land are going to meet us and give us the address so they're going to take us there and we're going to start fishing. We just drove by some public, a public land spot and there was just trucks and people lined up. It's raining but we don't care. We thought that the rain might have pushed some people out of the public land at Grace Creek and we were going to fish there a little bit but there's so many people and trucks there. Okay so it's been a few weeks since we've been here picking huckleberries at Nanny's house. But let's see what's going on in the garden. I helped her plant a lot of this and I built these potato boxes for her. I bet they're full of potatoes. Oh. Yeah. We got tomatoes. And a little watermelon. Look at that cute little guy. Oh wow, look at the pumpkins. Good work. Oh, look at that one. 
mine. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Mm. Oh my god, that is so good. I'm eating cherry tomatoes for dinner. Look at these pumpkins. They made it. They're good. Even colder? I don't know. Can we pick one? Up here in the high country. See the watermelon? Can we pick yeah, the little watermelon. Oh, I should take a watermelon to... We oh. could pick one and make uh, a pumpkin soup and uh, pumpkin pie. Mm -hmm. Did you find one? Yeah. Oh, you got a potato. Let's pull it out of there. Oh. 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 Look Whoa, these that. things are huge. That's a red potato. That's gonna be so good in butter. Like do we have that? any do you have any onions out here? Growing no, out here? No. No. Look Wait, at that tater. Are the, are the tater salad. Are the stuff that we use with sugar gun for the year? Oh no, there's a new little a new growth, but let's go to the store and see what we can find. Okay, what's your guys' name? Um, I'm Addie. Addie. I'm Jake. Jake? Addie and Jake, this is their land, and they're letting us fish for salmon on it. They said there's a lot of fish over here. Is there a lot of fish over here? Yeah. Oh, boy. Let's go, buddy. I got one. Is it dead? No, he's got one. Oh, you already got one? Oh, sweet. Look at him. Wow, these ones are like trapped. That's really cool. Let's go check out the main river. So we've got this ribbon that we're gonna wrap around our treble hook. So you can see your ribbon and when the salmon swim over it, you snag them. Jerk hard. Bam! Ooh, Good job, buddy. Throw them on shore. Got one. Oh, get him, get him, grab him, grab him. Grab that fish. <laughs> oh, that was a good one too. Yeah. Told you you can catch them, you turd. <laughs> Cast it way out there and reel it in, buddy. I just hooked one from way out there. Oh, got one. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hey, pretty little feller. Ah. Ooh. Oh, got one. Yeah, buddy! Come here. Put your pole down. Nice catch, bud. First kokanee salmon, G-Man Weber. G-Man oh, Weber. Yeah, they've got to smoke them on some cedar planks. I can't get it off. I'm just, I'm not scared of them. I just can't it's get a big off. hook. Nice catch, bud. Yeah, buddy. You little snagger. Whoa, I wonder, I gotta slow that down on the GoPro. That thing almost hit me in the face. Nice cast. So reel a little bit, give it a jerk. Jerk to the side. Like a hard jerk, reel a little bit. Oh, too hard. Too hard. 
Um, muscle film. I'm gonna take my leaf off. Is it good? Yeah, let me take that leaf off of there. Okay. I'll throw it out over there, maybe. Good one. Okay, real hard jerk that way. Not as hard as before, though. Okay, good. Okay, now that you got it close. Reel a little bit up to this school of fish and wait till one gets right over the top of it and jerk, not yet, jerk hard, oh you had him hit baby, oh got him, nice, I hate being one of these salmon. Ooh, nice. Nice a coconut, buddy. Cute. Okay, last cut. Oh, I got something. Yep. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, that was a big one. Yeah, come come here, you can cast this one out. That's my last one of the day. Look at that beautiful fish. Oh wow, I just want to eat you right now. <laughs> Sorry, scare the heck out of the fish. <laughs> Yummy. I am disgusted fish. You're disgusted? That is such a beautiful fish. Dad, that's how much we're going to have to clean. Cleaning is the same as going. Oh, you just... Mm -hmm. Oh, that is You want me to throw it for you? There you go. Hold that. I'll get it right in there. Okay, get ready to switch. Hey, Gavin, don't throw over my line. There you go. Real jerk, real jerk. Good jerk. Ready to go? Okay, let's pack it up. Well, thanks for letting us come fishing out here, kids. We really appreciate it. We'll be here tomorrow. You guys going to come hang out? Yeah. Cool. Okay, I'll, I have a couple more fishing poles in my car. I'll put some big hooks on them. Gavin, reel that up. We'll see you in the morning. Or we'll probably see you tonight. I'll probably make another video. <laughs> oh, it is raining out here. Just pouring a cold cold pouring drizzle I just cleaned I just cleaned 20 kokanee salmon out there in that drizzle <sighs> let's check them out I'll show you how to fly them too when we go to fly them but for tonight I've got them in some water and uh How many did we catch? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We caught more than that, but we kept these fifteen. Those are gonna be so delicious with some crackers. Maybe a salmon dip. Mmm so cool out there with nobody else around everywhere else we looked that and drove by um there was 15 20 vehicles parked there so granted it still would have been fun and we probably would have caught fish but just having a little piece of private land for a sport like this is awesome <laughs> we're gonna go to bed and 
We're going to get up and kind of hang out and drink some coffee. Not going to get a super early start, and then we're going to head back out on the Tobacco River and snag some more kokanee. Have a good night. Hey, good morning. What's up? It's Sunday, September 20th, I think. Um, it rained all night. It's been raining all morning. It's starting to clear up a little bit, though. Me and G went and got a coffee, and we are heading out. I forgot my coffee. You want to go get it? Um, I kind of really like it, but... Oh, you don't have, You can leave it for Anna. But anyway, we're heading out um, back to the private property for some salmon How snag. How fortunate we are to, to be able to go out to this private property, this beautiful property on the Tobacco River, and um, fish all by ourselves with nobody else around. I think this morning it's just going to be me and Gavin on like two miles of Tobacco River. Um front Wait, property it, that's what it looks like um no one else wants to come because it's raining and cold but it's 46 degrees it's raining a little bit Psh, let's go so we're gonna head on out maybe grab something to eat and we're going out to the tobacco river baby we'll see you in a little bit Here we are at the river's edge. It started to rain quite a bit, so we're gonna sit it out just a minute. Just a minute, <laughs> maybe like five minutes. But a little bit more about the um, kokanee salmon. The kokanee salmon, unlike its relatives, it doesn't get near as big. Um, it's got the hooked jaw with teeth. Their mouths are really small, so they're hard to catch when you're bait fishing for them. You gotta use a really little hook and really little bait picky fish so they're really hard to catch when you're bait fishing snagging for them this time of year september the season opens september 15th but they're running up the river to spawn and of course the females will lay the eggs and the males will then fertilize the eggs and then they'll die so a lot of them don't make the trip we've seen a ton of dead kokanee salmon in the river they just they're too old and the trip is too long and of course they die um, the one this landlocked fish is a very close relative to the sockeye salmon. They are so close, they are nearly indistinguishable. The sockeye get a little bit bigger. Um, the kokanee salmon do not make the mythical trip uh, to the ocean and then back to land. Um, instead, the kokanee salmon, salmon stay in a, in a landlocked um, freshwater system. Uh, their mouths are small, so it's hard to bait fish for them. Snagging them's pretty easy it turns out and so fun um, so anyway we are going to it doesn't look like it's gonna stop raining so we're just gonna head down to the river and um, start snagging we're just gonna get wet the wetter the better you know what I mean Gavin's over there <sighs> okay Got one. Damn. Almost got one. Woo! First one of the day, baby. That's a nice pink one, too. Oh, that one's just beautiful. First kokanee of the day. Look at how beautiful it is. So you got the lower hook jaw. They got teeth on their tongue. What? They got teeth on their tongue. Ow. Almost got one. Did you, buddy? Yeah. Ah, almost. I got one on. 
get them right, get it right under them and jerk up. Yeah. Never jerk off. Dad, now that we have weight on, it won't move. Like if I accidentally throw it off, oh god! No? Ooh, got one. Ooh, ooh. That's a fatty. Oh, Bad. Hey dad, I won't turn on. It's already filming. I know, but... Oh, oh there we go. We got a big fat one. We are just snagging the heck out. We put an extra weight on our setup. And our setup is, of course, the treble hook. Number four. Weighted treble hook. Um, and we put another weight above that. A pinch on weight. Yeah, a split shot. And around your hook, hook orange ribbon so you can see your hook out there. And when you're right under a salmon, boom, snag up. Done deal. I've been throwing the little ones back if they're not hooked too bad. You know, if the hook just goes in a little bit. Throw them back in. Let them make their journey. We'll lay, we'll lay eggs and stuff. But yeah, that's the rig up. And we've only lost one hook. I bought... 30 hooks at $1.89 a hook. Way overkill, but we'll have hooks for the next five years. Right? Right? <laughs> okay, let's keep on and go. That's a beautiful yeah. pink pole you got there. I like it. Oh Lord, we got GoPro batteries. And... Okay, there's some fish. I gotta, there they are. Oh, those are some big baddies, good. Okay, I'm right behind you, Addy, so don't hook me. Usually I'm not afraid of hooks, but these are some big, sharp hooks. I can see that being a problem entering the skin. Oh, that one. Oh, that's huge, too. Ah, oh, good one. That's huge. Don't oh, let that right one in the net. right in the net. That, I knew that net was worth 50 bucks. Heck yeah, and that's oh my cool. God, it's huge. Let me see, buddy. You gonna grab him or? He's flopping. <sighs> yeah, those are the kind we want. Beautiful. Whoa, monk. GoPro, stop recording. Shh. Oh, there's rocks out there. I hate getting over there now. But there's salmon over there. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, got one. Me too, bud. Oh, I had one. Good job, G. Hey, hey, careful, careful. That looks like a good one from here. Oh, that rocks. 
Yeah, there you go. Okay, we're all fished out here. Got Gavin and Jake. Good job, boys. Nice catch. I think there's 30 kokanee salmon on there. We'll count them up later, but for now, we're going to get them in the bucket and leave this beautiful. Go look at the... Oh. Thank you, Jake, for letting us fish on your beautiful land. Go look at our... Um... Until next year, hopefully we get to come back. Regardless, we'll be snagging salmon somewhere next year. We're so grateful for these people that let us come out here and fish on this private little piece of river. Wow. It's starting to rain again. So we're going to call that a trip. I've got a lot of video to put together. That's going to take a ton of work. So you should like and subscribe for more videos. It gives me some motivation to keep doing this. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Poor buddy. <laughs> you think that's funny? Uh -huh. <laughs> no, Gavin. Gavin, no. No, come on. <laughs> Bro. Sorry, Misha. <laughs> I see some blue. The red, orange, green, blue. I saw yellow. Yeah. Red. Orange, yellow, green, blue, purple.